Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Moai K, Swedish Whiskey Girl, and today we are back with something spectacular. This here in my glass is the Aberfeldy 40 year old. It's the oldest expression release from this distillery, which is located in the Highlands. And it's actually a distillery I had the pleasure of visiting. And if you want to read more about that, I have put the link to the blog piece down here in the description. But of course, this is a very, very special dram, and I'm so, so happy I've been able to try it. And it's of course thanks to Georgie and the team at Dewars, who's been doing this wonderful weekly tastings for the last 12 weeks, I think it is, where they've been hashtag sharing the rare and been just trying these amazing, lovely whiskies. Um, some have been from Altmore, some from Craigelki, some from Aberfeldy, and also some rums as well. And this last week, uh, because they're going to swap from weekly tastings to monthly now, and this last week they gave us a chance to try the Aberfeldy 21 and of course the Aberfeldy 40. So this whiskey was distilled in 1978. It's been in cask 5029 and it's available if you have a spare 2500 sitting in your account from their website or if you go to distillery you can get it there as well. There's of course a very limited stock of this and they have a few selected casks that they thought was so extraordinary that they wanted to bottle it as a 40 year old and they are all American ex-bourbon hogsheads and they all have their own kind of personality and character. So very excited to try this one for you guys. So let's have a little note. It's such a wonderful note from this one. Sometimes I feel like with age whiskies can almost go a little bit boring and like a little bit Dull, but this still is very vibrant. It also sits at 50.1% ABV. It has these kind of lovely toffee notes. A bit of that raisin sweetness. It's very elegant, very vibrant, and very intriguing. Almost a bit like coffee notes as well. But generally very sweet and very dense in its character. But a lot of kind of caramel, toffee, like, I don't know if it makes sense, but can I hold the toffee? And a little bit floral and definitely like honey sweetness. But slightly towards a raisin sweetness just because it's so dense. Honey sweetness feels a bit more like nature sometimes, but a raisin sweetness feels sticky and dense, so it's a honey sweetness, but with that kind of stickiness and dense sweetness that raisins have. Let's have a taste. Slangeva. It's a lovely whiskey. It has a lovely spice to it. Like almost like a gingerbread spice. Like the kind of mixture is primarily cloves, but I think you can get a little bit of that kind of cinnamon and ginger coming in as well. Definitely a toffee note. It's it's very, very toffee for me. But still dense and vibrant and very interesting in spite of its age. I could definitely see why they chose to bottle this. It's just it's lovely. Sweet. It also has like a tropical fruitiness to it, like apricots or... Yeah, what is that? It's like almost quite apricot and peachy because it has a really fresh tropical note. It's, it's wonderful. It's, it's really, really good. <laughs> And I, of course, wish that everyone would be able to try this lovely, lovely whiskey. But of course, Aberfeld, they don't just have the 40-year-old in their portfolio. They have so many other lovely whiskies as well. So I would love to hear if you have a favourite, perhaps. For me, I really, really like the 16 because it has a little bit of a special place in my heart. And it's it's a lovely whiskey, that too. And I do think I recognise that kind of Aberfeld, the character, the kind of honeyed notes. And it's kind of fruity, kind of easygoing note as well. So I would love to hear what your favourite Aberfeldy is, if you have one. I'm very happy to also say I've just got um, 
the opportunity to work as an affiliate alongside a master of malt. So if you're looking to buy any bottles, I would of course be super happy if you would consider using my link, which I put in the description here below. And of course, if you're looking for my Instagram or my Patreon, the link is there as well. And I'd of course be super happy if you would like to leave a little thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on any of the videos that are up and coming. I want to say a massive thank you to my wonderful Patreons. You guys are of course amazing and thank you so much for wanting to continue to support me. But as always, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Slanjava!